Today we'll be waking all the European countries with a twist this time. It won't be waking them based on my opinion. I always did that, and that still pissed people off because you can't say anything bad about Kosovo. But we're talking about the countries from the weakest to the strongest. So yeah, we'll be going over all the weaker countries first. And yeah, obviously, there's a thing about the Zaboni countries from the non Zaboni countries. There's a thing about the Manwe countries from the weaker countries. You get the point. The weakest country in Europe, I think, is Vacancy. Because it only has 700 people. You know, it only has like 700 people in the entire country. It's going to be pretty... The only problem you have to go through Italy to get through it. But, uh, uh, you know, if you're playing hard to find for, you can just get military at But why do you invade this place anyway? There's no people. And, yeah, there's no point in taking over this place. Next is San Marino. Another tiny place with not many people. It has like 29,000 people. And, yeah, why would you take over this place? There's no point. You know, next is Liechtenstein. Yeah, Liechtenstein, in terms of military ranking, they don't even have a military at all. They have, like, 10 people in the military. You know, put, there's vast between... But the thing is, they're doubly landlocked, so you have to go through two whole countries. And it's just really to the effort to go through it. Maybe Liechtenstein would be a secret S tier, because you have to go through two whole countries to get to it. But, yeah, why would you want to take over this country? Monaco, it's on the sea. It's such a tiny city with, like, 50,000 rich people. Yeah, not, not a really great choice to ta to invade. You know, Monaco is not a great choice to invade. And yeah, those are now that we singled out the weakest of the Europe countries. Now we, and then we have Andorra at D tier. You no, know, Andorra also at F tier because Andorra has no people. And it's matched between France and Spain. No, it doesn't have power. It's matched between powerful allies, so be D tier. Two very powerful allies. And yeah, it's going to be put in yeah, Malta, F tier. No, no people. It's in the middle of the ocean, and it's a very strategic area. So Malta's probably really well on the steers for a reason. It's not like the UK where it's a giant island with like 60 million people. And now I'll be going over Montenegro. Probably the weakest, another one of the weakest countries in Europe. Montenegro has like less than a million people. I just, you know, I, which is just pretty odd for a country in Europe to have not many people. It's a very small place of not many people. And yeah, it's in the Balkans and, you know, the Balkans of the Balkans. Iceland. They have no army, but they're just so far out. Why would you want to evade them? You know, also it's very icy, so you probably get iced up first. Um, okay, now we're done with the Jaboni countries. Oh yeah, where's Luxembourg? I don't see Luxembourg. Fingers on alphabetical order, so Luxembourg should be here. Luxembourg is also in detail because it's Luxembourg. It has like the same population as Montenegro. And it's also but it also you have to go for another country to get to it. Uh now, now we'll be going over the not uh, more countries. See and yeah the Balk Baltic states were one of them What's the least populated one? I think it's this one, Latvia. Least populated Baltic state. It's there's no point in taking it over because it's not really useful country. You know, it's just a tiny country by Russia. So yeah, now we're going over to the ECT of countries. Next is Estonia. No, not Bosnia. I'm not no, Bosnia. Next is Estonia, the Baltic state. And now we go over the CTO countries. So it is. Lithuania has like actually has like four million three million people three to four million people actually has a lot of people compared to the other two countries on that list Slovenia Slovenia is CTO it has the same amount actually we'll put Estonia here same amount of people as Estonia it's a, pretty, it's a pretty small country Macedonia not really a strong country yeah that would go over the tiny countries Albania same as well, Albania is a you know pretty easy to take over compared you know compared to all the other countries, but it's still strong. It probably could beat all those all the countries below it in a fight. You know, Cyprus, yeah, Cyprus actually divides two countries, so it's DTL. And now, yeah, now we're getting over the you know. Now we're getting over the rest of populated. Oh yeah, Moldova is C tier because it's the poorest country in Europe. You know, poorest country makes it weak. Now we're getting over Armenia. Armenia isn't that strong. 
say with Azer Bazan, you know, as they're both pretty weak the the Caucasus countries are pretty weak. They're not pretty strong countries, you know. And yeah, next is and they're kind of like really poor countries, so it goes against them. And now we're going over the B tier countries. Poland is a B tier country because Poland's flat land. It has forty million people, but it's still a bunch of flat land. It's you know and yeah, it's no, there's no real. It's very easy to go over flat land as a country on a country. Okay, next is Denmark. You why is Denmark the same tier as Poland? Because Denmark is you know has a few choke points that can blockade and stuff, which makes it hard to take over Bosnia. No, Bosnia is CTL. Bosnia is unstable, so it's CTL. Next is Croatia. Croatia is just a pretty really safe country, which makes it BTL. It also has a decent amount of people. It's like 6 million people, I think, Croatia. No, it has like 3 or 4 million people. Croatia is not really a big country, but yeah, next is Ireland. Ireland is... It's a it's an island. It's a bigger island, way bigger than Malta and Cyprus. Cyprus is really well because it's, it's divided into two countries. There's like a million people. But Ireland has 4 million people. And yeah, it's BTL country. And yeah, next countries on the list is next country on the list is Czech Republic. Czech Republic is BTO because it's mount. It has some mountains. That's all it's going for it. It has like ten million people. And yeah, next is Serbia. Serbia is BTO. It's small, but it's the strong. Probably one of the stronger countries in the Balkans. Hungary, another pretty you no know, country in the Balkans. It's has ten million people, around ten million people. And then next country on the list is Slovakia. Slovakia is BTO. It's no, it's it's CTO. It's more which means it's easier to take over than the other country. Bulgaria. Bulgaria is BTO because of reasons. And yeah, Belarus is just flat land, so it's CTO. Same problem as Poland. And then Ukraine is the same tier as Poland because it's the same thing as Poland. Flatland, similar population, and yeah. And yeah, if you, you probably will be able to convince Russia to help you on that war. And next is Austria. Austria has the mountains, so it's higher than Poland. And now, now we're going in Portugal. And uh, Portugal is pretty easy. It's not. Is it has ten million people? Norway and Fit and Finland are also here. No, Finland is higher than Norway because Finland has the Finland ta Finland tactics they have in the war. And Belgium, no Belgium, the CTO. Bel oh yeah, I forgot about Belgium. Belgium is also BTO along with the Netherlands. The pretty tiny countries. So, yep, Germany took them over pretty easy in World War Two. So yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, so well. And France because France surrenders. Yep, France surrenders to BTL. Yep, that's you know let's look at history. France surrenders. Actually, France has a nuke, so France would be ATL. But they're not. They're no STL because oh, I forgot. France, you know, France has a hundred nukes. Somehow, and somehow they got a hundred nukes. And then we go into ATL countries. Greece. Greece is actually a secret ATL because you have to take over all the tiny islands, which is pretty difficult. Unless you like Turkey or Russia. It, or Egypt, actually strong country. Yeah, it's pretty hard to take over Greece. It's 150 islands. You know, it's, you know, island hopping was always it was a pretty hard thing to do in World War II against Japan. Greece has so many islands that you have to take over that they own. It's just a lot. Overwhelming. Kazakhstan. Oh, I forgot. Kazakhstan's Europe. That's Asia. Yeah, Kazakhstan's BTO. Finland. Why is Finland so high? Because Finland has the Finnish tactics. They have the, you know, they have, they, they beat a war against Russia, which warns them at ATL. And next is Sweden. Sweden used to be a world power for history. They actually don't do, they, they have, they have became the cocks of Europe. So yeah, the B tier, they're, they're not really that strong anymore. Romania, because they're the most populated country in the Balkans. Balkan area besides Turkey, so yeah, Romania is next is Switzerland. 
No. We're going to go over Switzerland right Next is Spain. Spain is the weakest of the major powers in Europe. It has the weakest population. It is... It's around, it's around the similar size in the land area to Italy. And then we have Italy. It's Italy. Come on. It's not ATO. Like France. Italy. They'll switch sides. You know, and do all that stupid stuff that makes no sense. So, yeah. And now we're going over to STL countries. These are the countries. Number one, we all know Switzerland's an STL country. Switzerland. They have the mountains. They have the new... You know why Switzerland's due to every single time? Because no one wants to invade Switzerland. Because Switzerland... You know, they have no people. They'll, they'll take... They'll, they'll impossible to take over because of the mountains. All Switzerland has to do is hide in the mountains and never get... Never die. Austria has some of the mountains, but Switzerland is just a, it's just a fort. It's a giant fort they have to take over. That will be very hard to take over. And it will be very pointless. So that's why... that Even Mr. Mustache Man could... Didn't... Far, far twice about invading Switzerland because it will just be a pointless waste of manpower and it will cost them the war easier. And now we're going over to the UK. Uh, you know, it comes to its pretty expansion to the island. They have a lot of people, unlike Ireland. You know, they, you have to have, you know, they can easily blockade your country. It's very hard to blockade the UK because it's a giant island. And yeah, the next country on the list is Russia. They have winter, which is the most powerful, which is the most, which is why Ukraine is BTO. They have winter. They have you know the bears. They have all this stuff that goes for them. You know, have they have the winters. They have the very dangerous snow. You know, they also have a lot of land you have to take over. And yeah, Russia is all often ta taken as one of the hardest countries to invade. Next country is Germany because it's Germany. Germany has 80 million people, which is the second third most in Europe. Behind Turkey and Russia, Germany just has a it just has a lot of people, and Germany has a lot of manpower too, which means it'll be pretty hard to invade. Just like World War One, World War Two, they it was pretty hard to take out Germany. It took them five years to beat Germany, where and they they needed the U.S.'s help to beat Germany. So you have the world's one superpower that needed to beat Germany because Germany was that power. The only country that matched Germany in power was the United States of America. And the USSR, and you had both of them against Germany, and that's how Germany lost. And then last is Turkey. People were thinking that Turkey is gonna be bottom tier because of the kebab memes and stuff. And yeah, that's still yeah, those are memes. But Turkey has 83 million people. They have mountains, which, and they also have the most strategically important, at least one of the most strategically important cities in the entire world, Istanbul. And yeah, they can eat and. They could easily, you know, they they have a they also, and also I forgot the fact that you, uh, yeah, Russia would be probably be the number one country because they had the most amount of nukes, but yeah, we'll just be doing the order I put them in, but yeah, Turkey, you know, they have a lot of people, they have a lot of manpower, they can they could probably mess around with the Middle East pretty easily, but in Asia, I don't think they're in top tier in Asia, but yeah, in Europe, that's why they invaded Europe. They never invaded Asia. They always invaded Europe. Because Asia was much stronger, you know, Persia was much stronger, India was much stronger, China is much stronger, Indonesia is much stronger than Turkey, and yeah, and yeah, yeah, Turkey doesn't stand a chance against any of those countries, you know. Persia would be uh, would be pretty hard to invade because they had the mountains too. They're basically much stronger Switzerland, and yeah, Turkey beat, beats most of the Balkan countries. On the list of the countries, and yeah, the only country that, could, that the only country that was successfully able able to invade Greece was Turkey and Italy, and Italy had a hard time taking over Greece. Turkey was the only country to do it easily. Oh yeah, and Italy needed Ger Germany's help to take over Greece too. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why Greece is higher than Italy because Italy needed another country's help. To take over Greece. Turkey didn't need help to take over Greece. They did it all by themselves. Which was pretty easy for them. And yeah. That's basically it. Goodbye.